guys. This is Eric, the OBX Picker. I'm here uh, with you today going over the what's sold. Um, before I, I do that, I am going to be dropping this video today and tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, myself, uh, Dapper Tiger, and Midwest Bargains are going to be doing a live show um, here on my channel. So if you here, make sure you hit the bell on uh, my channel so you can be notified uh, when we get live tonight. It will be 8 o'clock sharp um, Eastern time. We'll be hitting that the live. And we're just going to be hanging out and talking about um, reselling. Um, if you have any questions that you want us to, to answer, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about ourselves and, and what we do and how we got into selling and kind of give a brief introduction with each one of us. And then we're going to kind of open things up. If you got any questions about reselling, any things that we might could help you with, um, anything that you might be able to share with the reselling community, uh, that would be a helpful uh, tip. One thing about our community and reselling is everybody is very supportive of one another. Uh, from what I've seen, most people are willing to help. Um, even though we are somewhat competitive with each other in the sense that we're all uh, selling. Uh, I know I've learned some stuff from these guys even in the past few days uh, that are going to be on the show tonight just with some different platforms. Uh, they they sell on more than just eBay. I'm primarily eBay. So they've uh, enlightened me on some other things and watching their videos. I've learned some things as well. Some what sold, some things to look out for. So uh, I know you guys will gain some knowledge uh, if you drop in with us. So I encourage you to do that today at eight o'clock and we're going to be doing this thing regularly every friday reseller uh, <clears throat> resellers round table so uh encourage you to come and be a part of it so we'll get into today uh what sold for me um since yesterday when i saw you so today we are actually at nine sales about 150 dollars is where we're at and we have starting things off this uh, Marvel Human Torch. Um, this is from that Marvel haul that I got a long time ago now, um, back in September. Uh, still selling things out of this. I've, I've probably got, I'm down to about a box and a half of action figures. Uh, so the Human Torch sold for $7 plus shipping. Uh, he'll go out first class today. So the first item up. Um, these, I actually sold two of these. I need to grab the other one. Uh, to make sure I ship it out with two, but I sold two of these for fifteen ninety eight. Uh, these were picked up retail arbitrage. I think I have about seventy five eighty cent in each one of these bags. So decent flip, nothing huge, but hey, I've got about six more of those things. So they've been selling pretty consistent. The next item up is something I'm sure about every reseller. If you do any electronics at all. You have a bin or a bucket somewhere that is full of this stuff. What is it? Extra cables, power cables, HDMI cables, AV cables. Uh, this is a Delta Electronics. I'm honestly not 100% sure what it goes to. It's a 12-volt uh, power adapter, but it was in my bin. One day I sat there, it took about an hour and went through that bin, banded everything up, and listed everything I could find in there. And then I put the other stuff aside for now and I'll go back and revisit it. I've got a bin guys that slam full of uh, chargers and cables. Uh, it's not huge money. That one sold for 860 free ship. It's probably gonna, this thing's probably about 10, 12 ounces. So it's probably gonna cost me about four or five bucks to ship. But honestly, I know I don't have any money into that thing. Uh, that I've sold some of those chargers for 18, 20 bucks that I just had sitting in a bin. So um, AC power supplies, uh, chargers, tool chargers are really good. Uh, but sometimes if you just got random electronic stuff, hey, list it. Can't sell it if you don't list it, right? So uh, the next item we have up is this. This is a Radio Shack Realistic. Uh, for younger guys, you probably have no clue what this is, but what this is, there's a button here on top. If you had a recordable tape, um, this is actually a magnet tape eraser. So you can actually erase that whole tape, tape by plugging it in and 
charging it. This is kind of heavy. Um, it sold for $22.99. Uh, this is going out. That was in a, I bought a closet, well, a closet, two shelving units at an estate sale. And it was full of all kinds of tape and reel-to-reel um, -reel, uh, things that the guy used to repair that stuff. So this is one of those items that was in that closet. I literally, I'm pretty sure I paid about five, six bucks for the whole closet. So I'm continually to make profit off of that. Uh, guys, I love, personally for me, if I'm looking at auctions, like online auctions, this was the online estate sale auction. Uh, there's places out there called High Bid is one. Uh, you can look at your local auctions. I've seen some other guys talk about that as well. Um, but you can check your local auctions. And um, sometimes stuff online, the stuff I look for, it's feast and famine, to be honest. Like sometimes you're going to hit some good stuff. But when it says, hey, you can have the contents of this closet, I'm down. Like most people are bidding on that stuff. They're not going to bid a lot unless there's something phenomenal hanging in there. Or, you know, you can have this cabinet. You know, For me, I'm, I'm down for that because uh, you never know. Uh, part of the reason why I do this and I love doing it is that treasure hunt, man, is uh, getting in there and saying, is there something in there that's of value? And obviously, if I paid five or six bucks for those cabinets and I just sold this item for $22, and that's not the first thing I sold out of there, and I'm sure it won't be the last thing I sell out of there, then, man, I'll probably end up making hundreds of dollars just off that cabinet of stuff, uh, just parting it out, selling pieces at a time. So you can do the same. It just, it does take a little work because obviously you got to go pick it up. You got to, you know, clean it up. You got to list it and you got to pack it when you sell it but hey that's why we do what we do or at least that's part of what i do why why i do it um this next item up is this bell let's see if i can get it close enough cyclometer so basically this thing is brand new i picked this up from gosh i'm trying to think where i got it local thrift i believe and let me see what i got into that thing two bucks um, sold for twelve sixty free. Sh I mean, not free ship. Buyer paid shipping, so he, buyers all in for seventeen eighty, and that thing will go out. It's actually fairly light. It's probably going to go out in a in a padded flat, a padded uh, envelope, padded poly. So, next item we got going out. I've had this for a long time. Actually, this was a retail arbitrage when I didn't have a clue about what I was doing. Uh, this was on sale at an auto parts store. And I believe these things were two for six when I bought them. So I have $3 in this, went out for $14.75 free ship. So not making a whole lot of money there, but I was happy to see it go. And uh, the next item we got up is something kind of crazy. So a state sale I went to, filled a whole Ikea bag full of everything I could grab that was new in the pack. And several items I've already sold out of there. One was a VCR that's already sold for 40 bucks. Uh, so I'm well into the profit on that. And I've sold some other things out of that as well. Uh, this was there too. Palm olive uh, soap, hand soap. Um, this is a family pack of three, sold for $6.75. Why do you list stuff like that? Because I have nothing in it. And I'm going to get what I can out of it. So... <laughs> We don't use that scent at our house, or we might use it ourselves. But uh, that six seventy-five, that's a free ship item. It'll go out for about three bucks. So I might make a couple bucks off of it. I just listed it because I had it, and it didn't cost me anything at this point. Uh, the next item up is this Dick Tracy. This is the Boris Arson Gang, um, and this is an item I actually picked up by auction. Uh, there was three of these little big books. I got them for five dollars uh, total. I'll in for five dollars. Uh, this one sold for eleven fifty plus shipping, and uh, so that'll be going out. This these books are old. They're uh, from. I was gonna see if I could find it in the table of contents, like when it, this thing was published, but it's it's old. And I I took pictures. It's important to disclose if there's any issues. Um, this obviously has some issues. There's a bin there. Um, the first page has a little, little 
something to it. But these books are probably, gosh, man, they're probably 60, 70 years old, to be honest. Like, at least, this book more than likely was published in the at least the 50s. Uh, maybe if if not um, if not older than that, so Dick Tracy going out. So guys, that's what I got today. Um, headed out. I did have some orders. Um, actually, I'm kind of out of out of uh, you know what's selling on the daily because uh, I've been shipping everything. Like right now, it's one o'clock, and I'm a little behind on shipping today. So, um, I went ahead and shipped everything that I had sold to this point. Um, so that's why we have those numbers. My true number for Thursday. Now this is Friday. So I'd be doing Thursday sales. I did the same thing yesterday. I shipped everything I had to that point. So it was 186 in yesterday's sales. Uh, and then today we have $23 and 50 cent that have gone out today. So that's where we're at. Um, let me update you on the death to death pile. Uh, death to death pile. We have listed a total of 109 pieces out of my death pile. Now, I've actually technically listed more items than that. Um, there's some items that I picked up from Kmart under retail arbitrage. Um, so, like the Kmart was going out of business. I bought, I think I ended up spending about $200 in there uh, on product to flip and I got a lot of inventory on that. Uh, some of which has been selling here pretty good. Uh, the Power Rangers actually came out of that flip, out of that. Uh, so 109 out of my death pile and I've sold 13 items out of there. So over 10%, um, guys, it's just an encouragement. You know, you can't sell that stuff unless you don't, unless you list it. So I'm continuing to list it and trying to get rid of it and get, get things uh, cleared up. So when they, open the uh sourcing i've got all that stuff cleaned up and I, i'm ready to to restock and go so hopefully it won't be too long do thank you guys for watching um i appreciate your your support in the channel and like i said don't forget uh check in with us tonight eight o'clock eastern so for you guys in central that'd be seven and west coast i don't even know how you guys work i think you're like three hours behind us so um, anyway, thank you for watching. If you're a reseller, good luck out there reselling. If you're here hanging out with us, we thank you for your support.